Good morning. This is Debbie Royce, Empire State Development's Corporate Secretary. I'd like to welcome everybody to the meeting this morning. Before we formally begin, I would ask that everybody please remember to mute your lines unless you're going to speak. And we'll begin now by taking a roll call of the committee members to ensure we have a quorum. If you'd be so kind as to just say present when I call your name. Howard Zemsky. Present. Eric Gertler. Present. Shauna Ponce. Present. Thanks so much, Howard. We have uh, a quorum for the committee, and so you're ready to begin. Okay, good morning, everyone. Thank you. Before I call the meeting to order, I'll note for the record that I'll serve as the acting chair for today's meeting. I now call to order the meeting of the Bond Financing Committee, members of the New York State Urban Development Corporation, doing business as Empire State Development for Wednesday, July 8th, 2020. I'd like to note for the record that due to public health concerns and as authorized by an executive order of the governor, this meeting will be conducted by teleconference. I'll also note for the record that the public was given the opportunity to comment on the agenda items by submitting written comments by 5.30 p.m. yesterday. A note for the record that no comments were received from the public concerning today's agenda items. Committee members have received the relevant written materials in advance of today's meeting and are free to ask questions at any time. I now ask the committee members whether anyone has any potential conflicts of interest with respect to today's agenda items. If so, I ask you to please make an appropriate disclosure on the record at this time, and we will then remind you to recuse yourself from discussions or vote with regard to that item. Um, yeah, I. It's this Howard, and uh, any resolutions that uh, pertain to legal counsel, Harris Beach, I have to recuse myself from. Thanks. Okay, uh, I'll now ask Julene Beckford to present today's first agenda item, requesting authorization to amend contracts for legal services in connection with issuance of state personal income tax revenue bonds and or state sales tax revenue bond series 2020A and 2020B. Julene, when you're ready, please begin. Good morning and thank you. Can everyone hear me? Yeah. Great, thank you. This morning I am requesting authorization for the corporation to amend existing legal services contracts with two firms. Nixon Peabody LLT and Bryant Rubino LLT in connection with the sale and delivery of the corporation's state sales tax revenue bonds, series 2020A and series 2020B that closed in March of 2020, and state personal income tax revenue bonds, series 2020A and series 2020B that just closed at the end of June. I will refer to these as the bonds. On February 5th, 2020, the Bond Financing Committee authorized the retention of Nixon Peabody and Bryant Rubino to represent the corporation in connection with the issuance of the bonds. Since the time of the original contract approval, the transaction evolved in response to the COVID-19 pandemic and volatile market conditions requiring a change to the original plan of financing. This change resulted in the need for Bond Council's ongoing coordination with the Division of Budget and other involved agencies and authorities, tax due diligence, review and analysis of the, of the financing structure, and drafting of documents. Bond Council's expertise was necessary to ensure compliance with applicable securities laws and market practices. ESC has used experienced Bond Council on every issuance of its bonds. The original contracts were for not to exceed amount of $400,000 for both Nixon's and Bryant's fees. This morning, we are seeking a $200,000 increase. The amended contracts would be for not to exceed amount of $600,000 for both Nixon Peabody and Bryant Rubino's fees. Bond Council has billed at ESD standard rates and will be paid for bond proceeds in an amount not to exceed $600,000. I'm happy to answer any questions at this time. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Julene. Are there any questions or comments from committee members on this item for Julene? We don't have any comments from the public. I'll entertain a motion to approve this item. I'll put forward a motion. Okay, thanks. Is there a second? 
I'll second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any Aye. opposed? None. Okay, thank you, uh, Julene. That motion carries. Doug Brissett will now present today's final item, which relates to the issuance of state personal income tax revenue bond series 2020C and 2020D. Take it away, Doug. Uh, thank you, Howard. Good morning, everyone. Today, the committee is being asked to approve the proposed sale and delivery of one or more series or sub-series of the New York State Urban Development Corporations, more simply the corporation, state personal income tax revenue bonds, PIT bonds, or also the bonds. In connection with approving the bonds, the committee is also asked to approve the forms of multiple documents, as well as the parameters of the PIT bond sale, sale terms. The PIT bonds may be issued as tax exempt and or taxable bonds on one or more dates in an aggregate principal amount not to exceed $2.3 billion. As stated in the resolutions, the committee on behalf of the corporation is also being asked to delegate authority to certain corporation officers and employees to establish within certain parameters the final terms of the bond sale, including the aggregate principal amount, and to take all actions deemed necessary to accomplish the final sale and delivery of the bond. The bonds will be issued by the corporation pursuant to the Personal Income Tax Revenue Bond Financing Program and will be secured by a pledge of financing agreement payments from amounts legally required to be deposited into the Personal Income Tax Revenue Bond Tax Fund. The Personal Income Tax Revenue Bond Tax Fund receives a statutory allocation of 50% of state personal income tax receipts and 50% of the receipts from the New York State Employer Compensation Expense Program Distributions of such funds are subject to annual appropriations by the state legislature. The Bond Financing Committee previously approved a master disclosure agreement that will apply to the bonds, the appointment of co-bond counsel, and the submission of an application to the Public Authorities Control Board for the authorization to fund the projects or programs for which the bonds will be issued. On May 20th, 2020, the PACB approved such application and authorized the issuance of up to $2 billion principal amount of state personal income tax, revenue bond anticipation notes, and or state sales tax revenue bond and anticipation notes, bans, and up to $2 billion principal amount of state personal income tax revenue bond and or state sales tax revenue bonds to be issued at one or more times in a total aggregate principal amount not to exceed $3.3 billion. An additional PACB authorization for up to $300 million aggregate principal amount of bonds will be issued in connection with the issuance of the bonds for a total authorization of $2.3 billion. Supplemental Resolution 2020-2 was adopted on May 26, 2020, and the Bond Financing Committee is requested to readopt the Supplemental Resolution as amended and restated to provide an increased aggregate principal amount of bonds of up to $2.3 billion. Proceeds from the sale of the bonds will be used to finance projects relating to certain state projects and programs and other state supported activities and may refund certain outstanding state supported debt previously issued. The bonds will be sold on a competitive and or negotiated basis as fixed rate tax exempt and fixed rate taxable bonds. The tax exempt and taxable bonds will be offered through a single preliminary official statement. In accordance with the attached resolution and exhibits, the committee is requested to 
readopt the New York State Urban Development Corporation Supplemental Resolution 2020-2 as amended and restated. Authorize the sale of each series of the bonds on a public competitive and or negotiated basis. Approve the form and content of the preliminary official statement, the official statement, and various documents connected with the sale and delivery of the bond. And authorize certain corporation officers and employees to take all actions deemed necessary to accomplish the final sale and delivery of the bonds. By approving the financing committee resolution, the committee will establish 2.3 billion as the maximum aggregate principal amount of bonds that may be issued. Establish a maximum true interest cost of 7.5% for the tax exempt bonds and 10% for the taxable bonds. Establish the maximum final maturity date, not more than 30 years after the bond issuance date. And delegate to certain corporate off corporation officers and employees the power to A, determine the terms of the bonds within the parameters set forth therein, including, but not limited to, the final aggregate principal amount of the bonds, the principal amount of each series of the bonds the principal amount of the bonds maturing in each year, the final maturity date or dates for such bonds, and the interest rates of the bond. B, issue and deliver the bonds pursuant to the contract of purchase if the bonds are sold on a negotiated basis. C, award the bonds to one or more successful bidders if the bonds are sold on a competitive basis and D, make such changes to the related documents deemed necessary and appropriate. The bonds are expected to price next Thursday, June 16th, and close one week later on Thursday, June 23rd. Thank you very much. I'm happy to answer any questions. Okay, thanks, Doug. Much appreciated. Are there any questions or comments from the committee members on this item for Doug or Elaine or anyone? I have no Okay. Idea. Okay, we do not have any comments from the public as mentioned earlier. Is there a motion to approve this item? I'll put a motion. Thank you. Second? Second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? None. The motion carries. Uh, we don't have any additional business. Is there a motion to adjourn the meeting? I'll make a motion. Okay. Thank you all. Great, great job, as always, uh, and have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very Thank much. You. Thank you, everyone.